dispatch and sank an enemy cruiser at Heligoland. These are some of the men who did the job. 50,000 people were present at Cardiff to see the International and the wartime police were on the spot. What, me? Climb up, never entered me in. Meanwhile, they'd been getting on with the job in the changing rooms and the teams were soon out, England in white, of course. The match started off at a great pace and there was little indication of the supremacy later to be gained by the visiting 15. Tedham, number one, worked like a Trojan to get England going, but the Welsh fought back like tigers. England, however, opened the score when Kemp went over for a try. Wales replied with a penalty kicked by Howard Davies, and half-time was reached with the score level at three points each. In the second period, England got right on top, although Wales held the lead for a few minutes after the resumption, thanks to Owen's try. Of England's three second-half tries, all converted by Heaton, here's the one scored by Edwards. And here's an attractive and successful movement. Kemp, number 10, the captain, has given to Heaton, 13, who breaks through. He passes to Edwards, 12, who gives to Unwin, who races away to touch down between the posts. A very nice bit of work. Result, England, 18, Wales, 9. They meet again in April.